guys, welcome to my channel here at Nanny's Kitchen and Beyond. So glad that you um, were able to stop by. Today I'm going to be showing you 15 of my favorite uh, food storage prep foods. And so, hey, you know, these are the ones that I chose to be my favorite. So, um, I have them here in a laundry basket ready to show you so i'm going to begin by showing you my 15 favorite food storage foods um prepping foods whatever you want to call it right <laughs> um so the first one if you know me you know i love coffee okay <laughs> so this is actually number one on my list of having on my food storage shelf at all times. Um, so if I didn't have my coffee, I get grumpy. <laughs> Any of you like that out there that you get grumpy if you don't have your coffee, I'm one of them. Sorry to say that, but yeah, I get grumpy without my coffee. <laughs> okay. So the next one is going to be my second choice. Get it up out of the basket. Is sugar. Okay. Sugar is used in so many different things as a sweetener. Um, whether it be your coffee, which I don't take sugar in my coffee. I drink it black. Um, but a lot of things uh, take sugar to sweeten it up. So sugar is going to be my number two uh, food pantry item. Next one, number three, flour. Um, you got to have flour if you're going to be making bread, maybe, or biscuits, or um, a number of things can be made with flour. And if I didn't have flour, uh, there would be a lot less baking going on where I live. Um, I love to bake, and especially in the fall and winter. Um, so I got to have my flour. Okay, the next one is going to be um, yeast. That kind of goes along with the flour. Uh, if you have your yeast, you can definitely make bread. So I want to make sure that I have yeast on hand. Um, so yeast is going to be my number four thing that I want to have on the shelf. Next is shortening. Uh, shortening, you know, you can have shortening or oil to um, fry foods or shortening or oil to make bread. Um, but shortening is definitely going to be something that I want to keep handy in case I need it. Um, another thing that grease shortening can be used for um, I could actually take this, it's not open, uh, put a wick in it, and I would have me a candle. So, shortening's an awesome thing to have on hand. Okay, next is going to be salt. Yeah, if you don't have salt, um... You know, your foods may be a little bland, so I always want to make sure that I have salt in my pantry. Good thing to stock up on. Um, which one do I want to do next? How about this? The milk with the long storage life that I get at um, Dollar Tree. One dollar. And this milk is actually pretty good tasting milk and it has a long shelf life on it um, so yeah I like having milk as something that I put on my prepper pantry next thing is going to be oatmeal okay oatmeal is something that yeah, it goes a long ways, and it's filling, and um, you definitely probably want to have sugar 
uh, if you made your oatmeal sauce. But yeah, oatmeal is a great thing to have in your pantry as well. Um, you can make so many different things out of oatmeal. You can have it for breakfast. You can use it in granola. Uh, you can use it in um, apple crisp. <laughs> but oatmeal is going to be something that is a must-have on my pantry shelf. Another thing is going to be rice. Uh, rice I want to have on my pantry shelf because um, it goes a long ways and it will fill you up in a heartbeat. So rice is something that you want to have and it lasts a long time if it is packaged in an airtight container. It will last a very long time. Alright, um, next one, peanut butter. Gotta have peanut butter on that proper pantry shelf. Uh, peanut butter has a lot of protein in it, and hey, we all love our peanut butter, don't we? <laughs> so, uh, and especially with all the jelly that I made, hey, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, right? So, peanut butter is something that I want to keep on my prepper pantry shelf. Uh, next thing is I like keeping macaroni and noodles on my pantry shelf. They too last a long time if they are stored properly in an airtight container. Uh, macaroni is filling and you can make a lot of different dishes out of it. I like making goulash out of macaroni. Um, you can make uh, tuna casserole out of macaroni. So many different things you can use macaroni for. So I like keeping macaroni on my prepper pantry shelf. Another thing are these Idahoan potatoes. I actually love these things. All you have to do is add water to them and they're in the sealed pack here. Um, so convenient and so this is definitely uh, one of the things that I want to have on my food storage pantry. Okay, what do we have here? I almost forgot this. Um, I like having spaghetti sauce in on my shelves. Um, you know, like I was talking about goulash. Actually, I've taken this and added it to my noodles. Um, it don't have to be spaghetti noodles. It don't have to be used for just spaghetti. Um, I actually have put it in um, my goulash before, and it is pretty good. So, you know, if you have this, it's got all your um, seasonings and everything all in it. So, yeah. I like having the spaghetti sauce on my pantry shelves. And then we have the chili beans. Now I do have the uncooked beans um, put away, but these are good if um, you don't want to go through all the trouble of cooking, or maybe you can't, don't have a way of actually cooking for a long time. These are heat and serve. Um, you know, if you had some ground beef to add to it and tomatoes, it makes a really good chili, guys. So, I like having these on my pantry shelf. Um, and then last but least, okay, this canned meat. This here is canned pork, and I love the Keystone. I know there's some of you out there that can't get your hands on Keystone. And I so apologize. This is really good stuff. Um, you get more meat than you do liquid in them. And um, so you get, you know, a uh, bang for your buck. So I like having the Keystone meat. Um, I grab the pork here. Uh, you can actually add barbecue sauce to this and have a really good barbecued uh pork sandwich or you know add it to whatever you want to make uh 
Actually, you can make a gravy over uh, potatoes with this, probably over rice. Hey, this is some good stuff to have on hand, um, for sure. And I'm glad I live somewhere where I can still buy it. Um, so anyway, guys, there's my 15 uh, must-have things in my pantry, my 15 um, most wanted things that I try to keep more of than other things. And um, so there you have it. Uh, <laughs> if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the like button. <laughs> so anyway, there we have it. The 15 uh, items that I like the best. And um, now I gotta go put them all back. <laughs> so until next time, guys, have a awesome Saturday. Um, until next time, guys, toodaloo. God bless. See ya. Bye.